Not my best hang in the world, but it'll work. Yeah, spared you the hanging it out, but at least I got a nice uh, horizontal position on this thing. I put the um, under quilt, top quilt up later. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. I'm getting hungry. I'm gonna make me something to eat. Show you around the campsite. I've camped here before. Duh. Do it this way. Humongous ass fire pit. <laughs> gonna have bonfires in there, the International Space Station is gonna see. Yeah, yeah gear bomb in there. I know my temperature gauge has been sitting out for a little bit and it says it's uh, 86 degrees out here. So yeah, it's a little warm out, but I'll come back here and cook my food. Tonight's dinner of choice is uh, Peak Refuel Chicken Alfredo Pasta. And then I'm going to add a salmon packet to it. I got, I got some neighbors camping over there so you might hear noises. And then for breakfast, I'm trying one of these. You can find these at the Walmart neighborhood markets. They're already ready to cook. All you got to do is warm it up. Or you need a cold microwave, pour in a, a pan, then warm oil, medium until, I don't know, or I might just eat it cold. But I'm going to add uh, that to it. And I got some tea and hot chocolate in here, but I think for right now, I'm going to join me a macro bar and some crane blueberry, blueberry cranberries. I'm gonna put my new uh, backpacking chair up. I mean, I set it up in the, inside my place at home when I first got it, but it packs down small on the other one. It's a Trekology. It's a little bit bigger too, but the only thing I didn't like about it is I can't hang on to it at first. The only thing I didn't like about it is it sits really low to the ground. Only I didn't like. See how short the legs are? Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to like this one or not. Yeah, it's a little bit easier to set up than that other one. Lighter. But it's the only drawback I don't like about it. <coughs> it's just way too low to the ground. 
I don't know why they make it made it so low. I mean, you really? <laughs> the other one might be a pain to butt to set up and take down. Be a little bit bigger, a little bit heavier than this, but it sits up a little higher and it doesn't lean back as much. This one leans back too much. I don't like that. I'm not. I'm not here hearing a freaking lazy boy. I don't know if I like this one or not. <sighs> don't know. That's funny. Is uh, I got this uh, GeoCatch app on my phone. I just took the free version, but the problem is, is like, it won't give you anything. Because it's got to be hooked to the network. So what's the use of doing it? Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> I'll drink this water. Now the water's all warm. This is cold. What flavor is this? Sunflower butter and chocolate. Yeah, I'll make my dinner here in a little bit. Here's what it looks like. Just a big, uh, it's like a big, it's like a big, huge, chewy fig bar. So it's like, that's all it is. Hmm. It tastes all right. Got no pail there with me, but hmm, I can open it. I do have this. Cheers. Fireball. Well, that cinnamon is really strong. Maybe from sitting in this can for so long. I don't know. Hmm. Right, let's go walk around camp. <sighs> yep. I think I wasted my money on that thing. Too low to the ground. Shut my doors. Go for a walk down to the wash. Yeah, I came in on that way. What I did is I literally just drove in. There's the main road out there. Just drove in here, drove in there, and then just backed it up. That's the way I've done it before. There's no room to turn around in here. I'm really waiting for summer to get over with. Cooler weather. Because I got a lot of stealth camp potentials around Tucson. Which is what I prefer doing anyways. Camp where I'm not supposed to. Sneak in there, camp out, and get out before anybody knows you were there. Eh. Let's see if there's an easier way to go down this way. Or maybe it's over there. I see the path goes this way. Maybe it'll look this way. Yeah, I don't think it really matters. <laughs> down here to the riverbed, the dried up riverbed, there's probably no water down here at all. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's pretty steep here. Oh yeah. She's bone dry. Pretty rock. If I can hang on to it. Pretty rock. Put it where I got it. Right there. Right there. Yep. It's up there on top of the hill. Where we're parked. Yeah. Cool. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> Fungus. I think somebody had a campfire right down here, right on the riverbank. Is that the tree's anus? It does. Boy, you need some uh, Imodium AD there, tree. Back up the hill. Oh, yeah, that root system is under there. That's cool. Look at that. The water's been rushing down. I could have went down this way too. I think I have gone down this way.
Yeah, I need my glasses. Okay. Eight ounces, one cup. They have a campfire going over here. Smell it. Over fuel canister, not much fuel left in it. I have this thing I got, it's called a light, it's a lantern. I'll give it a try, see how much light it puts off. chicken in. I'm going to add some salmon to it. It's getting there. about hot chocolate but I don't know. It's a little too warm to be having something hot to drink. Here we go. Boiling. Gotta watch it on titanium. Real easy to burn yourself. The salmon. Tuna. I guess we'll just uh, let it sit for a while. First, I'd bring it back to my dinner. I already uh, put the salmon packet in there. It smells like uh, Alfredo salmon. Still a little hot. You got my. <clears throat> yeah. Don't burn my ham. Looks pretty good. With the camera view on it. But. And uh, light some of those mosquito repellents. I got a bunch of mosquitoes running around me. I'll drive them off. That's pretty good. 
the fish, the salmon adds just a little bit of a zesty kick to it. A fishy zesty kick. Let's a little more. I've got some uh, chewy vegetables in there. Cheers. I think it's the stainless steel. Leaving it in there gives it a tangy kick to it or something. Oh. I'm just sit back here and relax. I finish my dinner. Sun's setting. Sun's set. It's just still daylight. I need to get my uh, quilt and under, my under quilt and top quilt out. Even though I don't even think I'm gonna need it, it might get cool enough. I'll need the under quilt, but I may not even use the top quilt. Yeah. I don't know. Oh yeah, I think my dinner's ready. I'm getting hungry. Time to eat. Do a little chat. It'll probably be me uh, with food in my mouth. Yeah, this is actually, I think the salmon really, mm. the salmon packet really added a nice taste to it. For all you've been following my channel, don't worry. I'm just waiting for winter time. I got a lot of stealth camp potentials in the Tucson area. But it's just a little too warm right now to do stealth camps in Tucson. It's like, I mean, I'm, I'm about 4,000 foot higher in elevation here. And it's 85 degrees here. So it's, it's, it's over 100 degrees in Tucson right now. So, until it starts to cool off, and I have this winter, I got a lot of stealth camping to do. I'm going to go back to my spot I did behind our, my yard where I work. It's like, that's a really nice area in the Santa Cruz River. I don't know if I'll go back to Squirrel Bloom or not. That there's a hilltop there looking over the Aver Valley Road. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Tucson. You drive, get off Aver Valley Road and you cross the Santa Cruz River and there's a hilltop up there. I'm going to go to the top up there and stealth camp out there some night. I've been studying, the, looking at it a lot and studying the route up there. But yeah, I think I found a way to get up there. It's going to start a little bit further to the south and then you got to hike the ridge line across. Because if you try to go straight up right where you want to, where I want to go, it's like it's going to be like vertical. But if you go further down, it's more level and you can make your way up there and then just hike across the ridge line. I'm going to have to get me a banana flask in honor of Sam Bananas. If you watch his channel, you know, if you know, if you've seen his channel, you know, he's, know I am. 
you know who he is. Huh? But, yeah, just look him up on YouTube, Sam Bananas. Sun going down. Time is it? It's almost uh, ten to seven. I think this is going straight to my head. I haven't had much to eat today. I basically wanted to park down here basically so I can get out here a lot earlier in the morning because I don't know if Sonora Highway is still going to be closed or not. I may have to go back the same way I came in and that's two hours of uh, off-road driving. So I'm going to attempt it, go out there. If it's open, I'll head north because if I can do that way. It's only a little over an hour drive back to back home when I'm done. But if I have to go back the same way, then yeah. It's going to take some time, eat some time up. I need to get out of here so I get time to get, get home. Got to get ready for the work week. Yep, I still work for a living. I just do this for fun. I work so I can do this. I paid for it. Man, it is like dead silent out here. It's so quiet. Even they're being quiet over there, so that's good. I did smell some campfire, so they must be having a campfire. I don't, there's no firewood here that I can use, and I don't have enough, enough water to put it out. So. I'm eager to test that little lantern stove out that fits my backpacking stoves. Give it a test. I showed it earlier in the video. But I tested it already at home to see if it works and it worked fine, but but I have an adapter I can hook up to it and I can hook it up to the one pound propane cylinder if I want to. But that's in my other container I have at home. But yeah. Probably not going to be super duper bright, but. Hmm. Hmm. Well. One more nip off the wannabe banana flask. Cheers. A nice bite to it. Well, I'm gonna finish my dinner and I'll probably eventually see about getting my uh, under quilt put on and put my top quilt in there. And, yeah, just kick around, relax a little bit. All right, I gotta watch my footing, keep tripping over those stupid uh, mosquito sticks. But got my under quilt on, top quilt in there, ready to go. 
what I like about it is that uh, this uh, what they call it um, go go outfitters hammock what I like about it it, it comes with this bag perfect but it's got these little clips on there that go on your quilt that keeps it perfectly under you kind of like the um that Eno bridge hammock I used which I still like that I just didn't bring it with me but yeah you just so they just clip on right here got these little clips that are built in here and I always remember which sides which because orange right here is always my head side orange and blue which is the side down there black blue black that's the foot side but probably gonna be a yeah kind of overkill I may have to loosen these things up a little bit get more so I can get airflow underneath there because I'm liable end up getting way too hot hey I want to sleep comfy in a hammock I don't want to sweat in a hammock Can you hear that? How much brighter this is on this camera it is than it actually is. It's actually pretty dark out here. Yeah, I'm sitting in the the sitting on the ground butt chair. Yeah, so I'm gonna call it the sitting on the ground butt chair. It's weird being this low to the ground. I'm not used to sitting this low. It's like I don't know. Seems to be alright. I mean, I've been sitting in it for like 15 20 minutes now so you know seems okay yep still enjoying I'm gonna sleep good tonight guess he wants to be quiet now Just sitting here listening to the birds. Watching the dust come in. The darkness come. <laughs> come my night lights up. I'll leave the little Lucy lantern in the tree over there. But this is kind of neat. This is that little lantern I was telling you hooks up to. Butane or protein. You can turn it up, turn it down. Boy, you can really shoot a flame out. Look at that. But keep it right about there. That's plenty of light. I don't know how long it'll last. I'll let it just burn. Empty the container out. That's one of my old containers. Not much fuel left in it. Yeah. Yeah, that really. Yeah, it's it's. I'm sorry, but it is a lot darker than it's shown. I don't know how much longer I'm going to be up. I like it. It wasn't that much. It was like $35 or something. I don't know. All it does is just regulate the amount of fuel and it's just got, it's just makes a little flame out of the fuel. Probably wouldn't want to be using that inside a tent or anything like that because it'd be the same thing. It'd be probably wouldn't be good. It's you got to do it outside. So you probably wouldn't want it inside. But yeah. 
I don't know how much longer I'm going to be up. I'm getting pretty tired. I got a couple more mosquito things running. I think she's a little flame. I got my Lucy light over there. I'll leave it on in the tree. Leave that on all night. It'll last majority of the night. It'll, and then I just I have a place at home. I keep it in a windowsill and it'll charge it back up to the next time I need it. But, yeah. Definitely getting dark out here. Boy, campfire would be nice. Oh, well. I uh, probably won't bring you back till I already go to bed, which won't be very, very much longer. I'm pretty tired. That's what I was hitting. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it. Rock. I guess when I uh, start the truck up tomorrow, I'm going to back up a little bit and get out, and I'm going to freaking get it out of the way so I can get out of here better. I'm going to call it a night. Yeah, get it down there out of the way. Huh. Maybe I should close the door on my truck before I go on the bed. <laughs> Left it open. <laughs> mm -hmm. when you get into them, you rock like a mofo. <laughs> Using the tripod to steady myself. Right. Take my slippers off. Put them on the bucket over here. So they're off the ground. I don't think I even need a top quilt, but it'll make a good <sighs> pillow. But there we go. I think see me a little better. It's a little warm. Definitely gonna need no top coat on me right now. <laughs> All right. Yep. Slide up there now. Yeah. I think I'm gonna call it a night. Tired. Oh well, asleep. Yeah. Anything comes up, I'll bring you up. If not, yeah, well, see you in the morning. Like. 
you know, a couple minutes. Morning. Yeah. I slept good last night. Very comfortable. Uh. Six o'clock. Yep, time to get up. Oh. I didn't think I put my top coat on until probably maybe three or four in the morning. It was that stayed that warm all night. Get up. I'm not gonna really do much of a pack up. I'm just gonna stuff everything in my bag and then make some breakfast and get out of here. Lantern didn't last all night. I think it burned all the fuel up. Of course, there wasn't much left in there, anyways, but we put out some good light. I like it.
Look at that. Bag for my straps. <laughs> buried in the bottom of my pack and I just buried everything on top of it. So I'm just gonna stick these inside there. If I had a tent, I'd still be fussing with it. This thing's been lasting me forever. That's how they are. People's dogs running around. Yes? They're being called. <laughs> They're calling you. Kind of a pain in the ass. Can you tell which way the strap goes? Yeah, that's why you need to make the legs a little longer. That's why you need to make the legs longer. There's a way to make these legs longer. I do some re see if I can find some in the bars that are strong enough to support weight. Maybe I can make the legs about maybe five or six inches longer. Yeah. Neighbors' dogs came and visited. I'm gonna get to cooking my breakfast. Hey, hmm. what's up with you? I think your owner's looking for you. Guess that means it's done. Hot enough to eat. I'm 
này mix of uh, blackberry citrus <coughs> and orange cinnamon spice. Yeah, it could have had some hot chocolate, but yeah, I don't feel like hot chocolate. packet was in. Right. It's mixed up. Closer. I think I'm getting sand in the joints of my things are getting hard to turn. I'm getting hard to turn sometimes. Let me blow my nose. <laughs> this is not that hot. Let's do a taste test on this. how it tastes. Mm. Not bad.
Well, I'm pretty much just going to eat my breakfast and enjoy my tea and then I'm going to head out of here. Well, it's going to be the end of this video. I'm going to end it right here. Wasn't exactly what I planned to do up here, but whatever. <sighs> I forgot what to do next weekend.